hello guys i know you don't care about uh intros so i'm gonna hop right into it so what you're gonna do is to find your effects is if you have a blank screen you're just gonna click anywhere on the console or on the page um and then you're gonna go to pools effects click that oops i already had some built and scroll down find a random empty box right click load predefined bam there's your library if this has helped you out and you're on a gig make sure you click or clear that like button and make sure you back up back up that subscribe button um i'm just gonna hop into effects on and what they do like the dimmer effects the chase and then the rainbow i'm not gonna get into positions if you want me to uh throw a comment below and i shall make one for you so i'll make this bigger so anyway, right click, low predefined, dimmer sin, click, bam. And then now I already have a group of lights that uh, I made in my layout page, my layout views. I'm just gonna click, drag this side, click, drag, drop. And if you notice the blue uh, little box that I'm putting around my lights, it does take in count the order you do it. So this would be the first one, second, third, fourth, and then click down, let go. And then if we go back to effects, see how we get that cool little chase going down. And then how you adjust the speed is right here, this box that says speed, click that, 120. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get some cool techno vibes. And then, ooh, the intensity. So this right here is your intensity. So if we put that to 50%, there you go, 50%. 20 oops kind of hard it's kind of hard to see on i hope you guys can see it so 30 anyway we'll just put it back to 100 and then um if we go into edit effect i'll click that again so right here above speed edit effect and then you have your groups blocks wings uh if you go to right here where it says matrix three of three click that you have all these other options that you can do High value phase with form you guys can tinker with that so i'm just gonna put into one group and what it does is it turns your selection into uh, actually one <laughs> one group no light is above any other so they all react the same way so it's just off on and then if we go back to edit program go to two groups it should be every other one that comes on and then they just kind of trade off and then if we go to three groups, you kind of get this cool shimmering effect, but just keep in mind it does repeat the same process. So it might be something that you want or don't want. And before I go into the chase, I just want to show you guys something. So see how I have um, these lights selected? Hold on. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. So can you see the yellow? Um, since we have those selected, if we don't clear out and if we create another effect, this is what happens. So I'm gonna right click, low predefined. I'm gonna just pick, say dimmer chase, cause that's the one we wanna go to. You're gonna see this little S in the corner. Hold on, let me try to zoom in, sorry guys. Okay, you see that S? That S in the corner of the box means that it's for a selected group of lights. So if you notice, we didn't grab this side. So this is what I'm going to show you is I'm going to, well, I've got to clear, clear, clear first. Sorry, let me turn these off. It's kind of annoying. If I click, drag, drop these lights, and then I go back to my effect and I try to go, okay, we're going to go dimmer chase. See how you can tell it doesn't grab anything. And then even if we look over here, it doesn't do anything. But if we do this, click drag, go back to dimmer chase, click that. See how immediately it shows you how many lights you grabbed. And then if you go back, you can see it actually working. So if you are creating effects, just remember to clear out unless you're trying to create, you know, selected effects for a specific group of lights, then 
cool. And then the ult, it's not a bad thing. You can actually do, so see how we cleared out, nothing selected. If we hit this twice, it would actually turn on that group of lights and that effect, which is kind of cool. Like if you're doing on the fly stuff. So I'm just going to go back. Um, clear, clear, clear. Yep, cleared out. Okay. We're going to grab Dimmer Chase and then we're going to grab uh, RGB Rainbow. Firefly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a. Uh, I want to say book, but I was going to say console, but that didn't rhyme. So if we click, double click this, nothing happens. It doesn't select anything because nothing's selected. So if you just start making um, all your effects from the library and you just start, oh, I'm going to turn this on. Nope, not going to happen until you select the group of lights. So actually, I'm going to go this way. Go left to right. And then hit this dimmer chase to see what happens. It's still, eh, well, it's, st it's still going in order. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> Was not expecting that. You can get them to go left to right. And um, it's already showed you the high values and all that. What I want to show you is you can manipulate as, you can manipulate almost everything in the effect, how it looks, how it staggers. Now, I had a question on how will you bounce it um, right here where it says, dir for direction you're going to right click that and then see where it says bounce watch what happens yep they're bouncing up and down like there's walls like pong i'm so old you guys <laughs> i don't care this is fun so that's how you get that effect and another um cool tip Let's say you have that effect, you're doing a bunch of other stuff, and then you realize, oh, I need to edit that effect. If you click that same effect, it will normal everything, like your speed, your wings, your groups. So how to get around that is if you hit edit, and then effect on MA on PC or the console, and you click that same one, it will keep the same settings that you left off with. So if we go back, yep, they're still doing their thing. So I'm just gonna clear, clear, clear. And then going into rainbow, we're just gonna click. We're just gonna click all of them, why not? All right, we have our lights. Bam, it shows that it's selected and it's uh, sending data to those lights to do RGB rainbow effect. Uh, What happened? I'll show you what happened. We don't have no intensity. So if you do full, since you still have them and they're all highlighted yellow. Bam! Now we got some cool Mario effects. I honestly forget that sometimes when our programming is to you have to have intensity on to see your like RGB rainbow or the odd and even blue type stuff. Um so yeah, that's pretty cool. And yes, you can have multiple effects on a light. Like if I do dimmer sin, let's see what happens. That's pretty red. I like that. Um, let's change it a little bit. Let's take down the groups. Let's throw wings in there. And then let's around the world, around the world. <laughs> Almost like a pigeon. Sorry. Sorry, I'm too fun, you guys. <laughs> I'm so boring. Um, That is it. So I hope you guys found this very informative and helped you guys out. I will do some more little tutorials like this if you guys like them. So make sure you click or clear that like button and back up, back up that subscribe button. But I do appreciate it, you guys. And uh, thanks for watching and stay safe out there.